Mr. Speaker, if you're encouraged by this CBO report, what's a CBO report you're discouraged by? <laughs> oh, I've seen a lot. I've been reading them all half my life. But the point I'm saying is what CBO did was they validated. We are block granting Medicaid back to the states, saving $880 billion right there. This is an $883 billion tax cut for families and small businesses that helps lower their health care costs. And it saves money and reduces the deficit. So that's really good on all those points. But what the CBO is also telling us, by having state-based high-risk pools, by having free tax credits, free meaning you can buy what you want tax credits and more health savings accounts, they're telling us our reforms stabilize the market and lower premiums when those reforms take place. And you juxtapose that against a collapsing Obamacare system, double-digit premium increases this year, it's going to get worse next year, very few plans being offered, down to one plan in one out of three counties, zero plans in some places next year. So we're witnessing the collapse of Obamacare, and what CBO is telling us is that this replacement plan actually stabilizes the situation, brings down costs, and this is just stage one of a three-stage process to make it even better. That's why I'm encouraged.